everyone. Today we are gonna learn about Ludwig van Beethoven. Ludwig van Beethoven, baptized December 17, 1770, Bonn. German composer, the predominant musical figure in the transitional period between the classical and romantic eras. Widely regarded as the greatest composer who ever lived, Ludwig van Beethoven dominates a period of musical history as no one else before or since. He was a considerable innovator, widening the scope of sonata, symphony, concerto, and quartet, while in the Ninth Symphony he combined the worlds of vocal and instrumental music in a manner never before attempted. His most important works were composed during the last ten years of his life when he was quite unable to hear. Beethoven was the eldest surviving child of Johann and Maria Magdalena van Beethoven. The family was Flemish in origin and can be traced back to Molines. The Beethoven family became steadily poorer with the death of his grandfather in 1773 and the decline of his father into alcoholism. By age 11 Beethoven had to leave school. At 18 he was the breadwinner of the family. In 1780 Christian Gottlob Neef, a Protestant from Saxony, became Beethoven's teacher. Beethoven in 1783 had his first extant composition, Nine Variations on a March by Dressler, published at Mannheim. By 1787 he had made such progress that Maximilian Francis, was persuaded to send him to Vienna to study with Mozart. Like other composers of his generation, Beethoven was subject to the influence of popular music, and of folk music. Influence is particularly strong in the Waldstein ballet music of 1790 and in several of his early songs and unison choruses. Like all pianists of the late 18th century, Beethoven was raised on the sonatas and teachings of Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach. Of particular interest are 24 variations on a theme by Vincenzo Raini, an Italian composer, which, like the string trio in E flat major, opus 3, Beethoven revised and then published at a much later date. These variations, representing a compendium of Beethoven's piano technique, for a long time were to serve as the mainstay of his repertory in the salons of Vienna. As a composer, however, Beethoven still had many technical problems to overcome, and it soon became clear that Haydn was not the best person to help him. Outwardly their relations remained cordial, but Beethoven soon began taking extra lessons in secret. One of his teachers was the organist Johann Georg Brechtsberger. He also studied vocal composition with Antonio Salieri, the imperial Kapellmeister. The year 1795 marked Beethoven's first public appearance as a pianist in Vienna. He played a concerto, number 2, opus 19, of his own and one by Mozart and also took part in a benefit concert for Haydn. In 1800 he launched a public concert on the grand scale, in which one of his own piano concerti, the Septet, opus 20, and the First Symphony were given, together with works by Haydn and Mozart. The event contributed a great deal to the spread of Beethoven's fame abroad. A change in direction occurred with Beethoven's gradual realization that he was becoming deaf. The first symptoms had appeared even before 1800, yet for a few years his life continued unchanged. Although it was not until about 1819 that his deafness became total, making necessary the use of those conversation books in which friends wrote down their questions while he replied hourly, his playing degenerated as he became able to hear less and less. 
Many of his musical ideas came to him on long country walks and were noted in sketchbooks. Sometimes, as in the sketching of the Third Symphony, Erika, he would leave several bars blank, making it clear that the rhythmic scheme had preceded the melodic in his mind. The year 1804 was to see the completion of the Third Symphony, regarded by most biographers as a landmark in Beethoven's development. The work was to have been dedicated to Napoleon, intermittently one of Beethoven's heroes, but Beethoven struck out the dedication on hearing that Napoleon had taken the title of Emperor. Outraged in his Republican principles, he changed the title to Oka and added the words for the memory of a great man. In this period too, he considered more seriously than before the idea of marriage. As early as 1801, letters to his friend Widgler refer to a dear sweet girl who loves me and whom I love. This is thought to have been the Countess Julietta Gishardi. It was to Julietta that he dedicated the Piano Sonata in C sharp minor, opus 27, number 2, known as the Moonlight Sonata. The prospective bride of 1810 is thought to have been Threes Malfatti, daughter of one of Beethoven's doctors, but, like the other marriage projects, this too lapsed, and Beethoven remained a bachelor. The Overtures King Stefan, named A, the ruins of Athens, were, however, late in arriving, and the discovery that they were not new after all caused considerable bad feeling, for a time, relations became strained on both sides. The Philharmonic Society never ceased to interest itself in Beethoven's music and it undoubtedly played an important part in the genesis of the Ninth Symphony, which in a sense it commissioned. The Ninth Symphony had begun to take shape, by the following year, 1824, it was finished and was performed, with great success at the Kantner Theatre. The Ninth Symphony was Beethoven's last work for large-scale forces. On his return to Vienna he contracted pneumonia, from which he never fully recovered. He remained bedridden and died from cirrhosis of the liver in Vienna on March 26, 1827. The funeral three days later was attended by 20,000 people. Paul bearers included the famous pianist Johann Nepomuk Hummel, Schubert was among the torchbearers, Franz Grill Parzer, Austria's greatest living dramatist, wrote the sometimes nationalistic funeral oration. Thanks for watching. Feel free to write your opinion or critics in the comment section down below.